hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to cook mkate wa mchele au mkate wa sinia which means rice cake we need rice We need two cups of basmati rice soaked overnight, then wash and rinse properly with clean fresh water. Put it in the blender. One tablespoon of yeast, also known as amira in Kiswahili. Put it on the blender too. One cup of sugar, two half teaspoon of cardamom, also known as iliki in Kiswahili. Put it also on the blender. 3 cups of coconut cream, in Swahili it's called nazi, put it in the blender also. I also like, don't like to waste the remainder, so I usually shake it, shake it, shake it with water, like a quarter cup of water and make sure all those juiciness are dropped in the blender also because the economy is so like why is coconut cream so expensive nowadays to Kenya anyway we use a spoon to make sure the water goes down because you know our blender is not high speed it's not like really strong so we need water when we are blending things to make it easier for the blender to blend and grind so let's grind that until it's smooth you really need to soak your rice so that it will be easy to blend. It will be much softer. You need to blend it until it is fine in texture. No hard particles. You need the mixture to blend and blend and blend, guys. Because this is the key to a very, really good consistency. Follow the instruction and also follow the instruction in the comment description box below. I'm going to put all the ingredients that uh, you can follow up with. Continue blending until you get a very good consistency, just like so. Pour your mixture on a big basin, double in size. Use a napkin, a kitchen napkin. Close it and put it in an oven or microwave to let it rise. The humidity make it rise more for one hour. One hour later. One hour later, your mixture would have been like so if your yeast is really good uh stir it all the mixture so that it can dissolve well for two to three minutes make sure everything is stirred up now use your baking tray i'm using a prix baking tray shout out to my mama mafte me quite expensive sana cooking oil is really expensive so we're using little little it's so expensive like where are we going spread it the oil so that when you put your rice cake it does not stick when it's uh, done when it's cooked now pour pour all your rice butter can we call it butter your rice mixture inside the baking pan Mimina yote. Ini mkate wangu mimina. How do you call this rice cake in your country? Now you're going to bake it in the oven, preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes, baby. You can also cook it on a charcoal, but if you have an oven, trust me, this is the best way to go with no stress. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of videos. Uh, much, much later. After 40 minutes, our rice cake, it is smelling so good. I love the color, the golden color. I just love it and it smells so good. Now we're going to take it out 
and please let it rest so that it will soft cover it i don't think i show it but you cover it for 10 minutes now after 10 minutes i should have used more cooking oil to cover my baking pan so that it wouldn't stick like this but economy of kenya the inflation like tell me why rina two liters is 850 kenya shillings tell me why tell me why in the comment section down below to wapi why is are we going on a recession do you see the recession and you just enjoyed this mkate na kama uja subscribe na kama wataka next time nifanya video na kiswahili smash your button up chini we are almost to 40k subscribers and i'll do a dedicated swahili dish in kiswahili it will be a lot of work for me but i'll do it for you guys because i love you so much we're almost we are just shy to like 170 to to fike then to enjoy chai yetu mkate yetu na chai we enjoy this rice cake with tea kenyan tea hmm? so look how soft it is you know guys my favorite street food is rice cake at the time when I used to live in Mombasa, I was the too and I could not buy it. But since I moved out of Mombasa, every time I go to a Swahili town, I have to take rice cake. And recently when I was in Lamu, there were no rice cake. I don't know what they were playing at, but I had to find a recipe online and tried it. So shout out to Aroma of Zanzibar, Shania's Kitchen, who else? All of those ladies who do cooking recipes because i think i borrowed one from them i'm gonna link it down below in the description box of the video i followed and they're so juicy they're soft the spices were mm, a1 please when you're following a recipe follow the exact measurements to the tea i'm planning to buy some cups for measuring because i'm very serious with this baking shit <laughs> okay guys don't forget to like comment subscribe love you so you can eat your cocktail or senior rice cake with kenyan tea or you can have it as a snack on its own it is soft very soft Comment down below which other videos you would like to see from the baby girl.